What does it mean when we talk about developing our leadership skills? And what does it mean when we talk about developing our management skills? Do they mean the same thing? In this episode of Know the Difference, we're going to explore the key differences between what makes up leadership skills and what makes up management skills. In the workplace, bosses, supervisors, and people in authority need a collection of various skills and abilities in order to be successful in their job. These skills can look like setting objectives, managing time, delegating work, effectively communicating, and ultimately getting the best work out of their teams. But whether these skills are about leadership or management is sometimes confusing. So let's start by first defining leadership skills and management skills. Leadership skills refers to the personal qualities of the people we follow or report to. Things like their confidence, their presence, their patience, and their character. It's really about the values and skills that they bring to their job, how they make tough decisions, and how they make others feel. Leadership skills are about who the person is and how they interact with those around them. But they're not necessarily about how effective they are in the tasks and technical parts of their job. Whereas management skills, they're about the competency of organizing and executing the work and using the resources that are available to you. In a people management role, that means how you use the teams that report to you. Management skills are about how well someone can organize and direct their people to do the work. But they're not necessarily about how effective they are in how they interact and motivate those around them. Leadership and management skills are complementary, yet distinct, skill sets that both need to be present to be successful. A good boss needs to be a good manager and a good leader. When someone doesn't have both skill sets, we can see bosses that are knowledgeable and competent in the work, able to organize and execute, but are not always the best at encouraging and inspiring people. These types of bosses have good management skills, but are in need of leadership coaching or training. Or we can see bosses that have the confidence and people skills to inspire their team and build a sense of trust and respect in those they work with. However, they struggle to get the most productive performance out of their teams. These types of people have good leadership skills, but are in need of management, coaching, or training. Ideally, our bosses, supervisors, and those in authority have both leadership and management skills. Because a good leader inspires their employees and gives them what they need to bring their whole self to work. And a good manager provides employees the tools and resources that will allow them to be productive and efficient in their jobs. This is why it's so important for current bosses, supervisors, and people in authority to take a hard look at how they lead and manage others. Are they able to bring strong structure, planning, and effective communication to their team, as well as the essential personal qualities to support, motivate, and inspire their people? Also, which skill set could be better developed to make them more effective? If you'd like to know more about developing both leadership skills and management skills, then make sure you check out some of our other videos and our website, roman3.ca for tools, resources, and support, because knowing is half the battle.